God, come to my assistance. Lord, thank you to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah.
with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the learned and the clever, you have revealed them to the nearest of children. Yes, Father, it is true. You have graciously wounded so. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father. And no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal Him. Come to me, all you who are tired and weary, and find life burdensome, and I will refresh you. Take my yoke upon your shoulders and learn from me, for I am meek. And humble of heart. Yes, your soul will find rest, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. We all bear some kind of cross. And we look around and we think, I would rather have that cross than the one I'm bearing right now. But crosses depend upon the Lord and to whom He gives them. And so, if your cross is considerably heavy in your opinion, you find yourself suffering, suffering torment, the place to go is to the Lord. And where is the Lord? The Lord is here and now. And He is on the altar presently, looking out of all of us whom He loves so very much. And He all put us here for a reason. Right now, we don't know why, but as time goes on, things evolve. And then we have an answer to the question, why? So if you feel that you need help, you need healing, look at the Lord right now. And His power comes out to each and every one of us so that we have the strength we need, the courage we need to bear our cross. The Eucharist 
is not something we should take for granted. It is someone we should not take for granted. And the Lord generously gives to us who are in need. I want to share a story, a short story. It's from a movie which came out long before most of you were born. I was only perhaps a teenager when I first saw it on TV. And if you didn't see it, maybe you did. But at any rate, we'll, sh we'll share with you about Orsalino, Pani Vino. Orsalino plays a major role in this little story. But the Lord, prob not probably, the Lord plays the major role. Pan Iveno, if you don't know Spanish, means bread and wine. Referring, of course, to the Eucharist, the body and blood of Jesus. So one day in this monastery, someplace in Mexico, the monks found on their doorstep a baby wrapped in a blanket. No, no, nothing else. The monks did not know what to do because they lived rather far from the village. So they said they would keep the child and find a, a, a good home for him. And so they gave this baby a name, Marcelino. And so they grew attached to Marcelino and they decided they would raise him in the monastery. And so when he was old enough, they would give him firm advice. Do this, don't do this. And so one of the rules that they gave him was never go upstairs to the attic of the monastery. Well, Marcelino, say, at this time was about maybe six to seven years of age. And so curiosity overcame him. And he climbs up the steps to the attic. And there he sees on the wall a life-size crucifix. Of course, the figure of the body of Christ crucified is on the cross. And he's in awe of this beautiful man covered in blood. And he thinks to himself, I have to do something to help this beautiful man. And so each day he goes into the kitchen of the monastery and he seeks a couple of slices of bread and he takes a little bit of wine that he found in the cabinet. He goes up to the stairs to give this man on the cross something to eat and drink. Well, day after day, the monks noticed that some of the bread is missing, no big deal. But they wondered where, what happened, where did it go? And so they noticed the wine was a little less than usual. And so one day, Brother Cookie, as it was called, decided to follow Marcelino. And he noticed that he was going up the steps, thinking no one was watching him. And he sees Marcelino give this bread and wine to the beautiful man on the cross. So when he returns and after community prayer, he 
he tells his brother monks what Marcelino was doing. Well, the monks in general quietly climbed up the steps. Now, I left out one part. Jesus would talk to this little boy Marcelino, and they would whisper, and it wasn't audible what actually they were talking about. But at one point, Marcelino looks at Jesus and he says, Do you have a mother? Jesus said, Yes. And Marcelino asked, What's she like? And Jesus responded how wonderful his mother was. And Marcelino said, do I have a mother? And Jesus says, you do. And she's a very, very good woman. And Marcelino said, one day I hope to meet her. And Jesus smiled, said to Marcelino, well, I know you're very young. I know you have a mother who loves you. And my mother loves you too. And would you like to meet your mother someday? And he said, oh yes. I'd like to meet your mother too. And he said, well, Marceline, you're very young. But let's not rush it. Let's wait until you have a full life. And Marcelino said, a minute that he had no patience, that he would like to meet his mother very soon. Well, it so happened, a scorpion was running along the path of Marcelino. And he bit him. Well, the next thing that happened, I said, the monks climbed up the steps quietly to see what was happening. And they looked at the cross. And Jesus was not, was not hanging on the cross. And they looked closely and they saw Jesus holding Marcelino in his arms. They were awe-stricken because this little boy, they knew, would meet his mother and the mother of Jesus. So the little boy, Marcelino, did go to meet his mother. He went to meet the mother of Jesus as well. And he thought, uh, and no doubt, he was very, very happy. Yes, the monks would miss their little treasure, Marcelino, but he was in a better place. Not having any siblings, not having any knowledge of the mother and father, he found out that if you're with Jesus, you're in a better place. One day, all of us hope to be in a better place. One day, we hope to be united, be united with our mothers, if they're gone from this earth. And we'll be so happy to meet the mother of Jesus, who is a mother to all of us. And so Marcelino, Pani Bino, bread and wine, the Holy Eucharist, was given to this little boy. He knew who Jesus was, and he loved him dearly. He thanked him for the suffering that he endured for us, all of us. Good and bad alike. He came to bring us healing, to bring us strength, to bring us energy to do what he had intended for us to do. And so let us put our hope and trust in him, knowing that after this short life is over, we too will meet those we love.
name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The whole creation proclaims the greatness of your glory. The whole creation proclaims the greatness of your glory. Eternal ages praise. The greatness of your glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. The whole creation proclaims the greatness of your glory. By your trusting and acceptance of trials, you will gain your life, says he.
right trust and acceptance of trials, you will gain your life, says the Lord. Christ the Lord is our head. We are his members. In joy, let us call out to him. Lord, may your kingdom come. Christ our Savior, make your church a more vivid symbol of the unity of all mankind. Make it more effectively the sacrament of salvation for all peoples. Lord, may your kingdom come. Through your presence, guide the College of Bishops in union with the Pope. Give them the gifts of unity, love, and peace. Lord, may your kingdom come. Bind all Christians more closely to yourself, their divine head. Lead them to reclaim your kingdom by the witness of their lives. Lord, may your kingdom come. Grant peace to the world. Let every land flourish in justice and security. Lord, may your kingdom come. Grant to the dead the glory of the resurrection, and give us a share in their happiness. Lord, may your kingdom come. Drawing all of our prayers together, we now pray in the Lord's through Savior Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil.
the divine praises. Bless us, God. Bless us, Holy Spirit. Bless us, Jesus Christ, your God. Before we sing our final hymn, just a reminder that the priest will be available for confession after the prayer service. 